Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about Obel hypothesis. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So in 1966, Crick proposed this Obel hypothesis. Do you know the meaning of Obel? Obel means it's flexible. So it is actually about the genetic code. Now, according to this hypothesis, the first two bases of an mRNA form hydrogen bonds with their second and third bases of the tRNA anticodon in the usual Watson-Crick manner. In that, they only form base pairs with complementary bases. We will see. Okay, so this is the mRNA and we have here the tRNA. Here, this is a codon CUC contains three nucleotides. One codon contains three nucleotides CUC. So this codon base pairs with the anticodon Anticodon is present in the tRNA, so this is the anticodon GAG. C is the first nucleotide of the codon, U is the second nucleotide of the codon, and this C is the third nucleotide of the mRNA codon. But if you see the anticodon of tRNA, now G is the first nucleotide because it is in the 5 prime position. A is the second nucleotide and this G is the third nucleotide. 1, 2, 3. But in the codon, this is 1, 2, 3. The 5 prime nucleotide is the first. This C pairs with G and the U pairs with A and the C pairs with G. So we can see all three best pairings are common Watson Crick best pairing. So here we don't have any issue. Now we will see this oval pairing. What is happening here? The first nucleotide of codon and second nucleotide of codon pair with usual nucleotides of anticodon. That is the complementary base pairing. C pairs with G and U pairs with A. But in this case, you can see that the third, third nucleotide of the codon, U, it should pair with A. This is the complementary base pairing. But in this case, this U pairs with G. That is the unusual base pairing. This is called oval pairing. So, however, the formation of hydrogen bonds between the third base of the codon and the first base of the anticodon can occur in a non-Watson-Crick manner. Hence, hydrogen bond may occur between the non-complementary bases at this position. So, we have seen that these U and G, these are non-complementary base pairing. Let's see the flexible base pairing at the third position of codon. So if A is at the third position in the codon, it can base pair with U or I at the first position in the anticodon. So A pairs with U that is usual, but A pairs with I that is unusual, that is oval base pairing. I is actually the nucleoside enosine. Uh, it is found in tRNA. So it is formed in tRNA by the removal of an amino group from adenosine. This is carried out by an enzyme called anticodon deaminase. Now if U is at the third position in the codon, it can best pair with A, G or I at the first position in the anticodon. So U pairs with A. This is usual base pairing, but U pairs with G 
or I, these two are unusual base pairing, that means oval base pairing. If G is at the third position in the codon, it can base pair with C or U at the first position in the anticodon. So G pairs with C, this is usual base pairing, but G pairs with U, it is unusual base pairing, that means oval base pairing. Now, if C is at the third position in the codon, it can base pair with G or I at the first position in the anticodon. So C pairs with G, this is usual base pairing, but C pairs with I, that is unusual base pairing, that means the oval base pairing. Okay. Now, what is the importance of this oval hypothesis? So, oval base pairing allows anticodon of a single tRNA to pair with more than one codon of an mRNA. Like in this case, we have the anticodon in tRNA GAG. So, GAG is a single anticodon. It pairs with the codon CUC as well as CUU. So, two codons are here which are interacting with the single anticodon. So, it explains why multiple codons can code for a single amino acid. This is known as the degeneracy of genetic code. One tRNA molecule with one amino acid attached can recognize and bind to more than one codon due to the less precise base pairs that can arise between the third base of the codon and the first base of the anticodon that we have seen here. So this tRNA, it has one single amino acid attached with it that is leucine and it is interacting with two different codons. This hence explains why more codons exist than tRNA molecules. Oval hypothesis also illustrates why the only variability between many codons that encode the same amino acid is the third base. Suppose, uh, take the amino acid valine. Now, valine could be coded by four different codons. GUU, GUC, GUA, GUG. Now, the first two nucleotides are same in all four codons, but the third one is different in this case. So, this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. If you want to get the PDF notes of this topic, please check the description box or first pinned comment. Thank you.